All right, what's going on guys? So today we got a new toy. I've had it for a little bit. It's the uh, Tao Tao DBX one. It's the 140 pit bike. Um, it's pretty sick and Gabriel picked up one of these Honda Grom clones. Check it out. Yeah. So it's pretty sick. It was 1300 shipped to my door and then how much did you pay for it? I paid like like nine fifty because I actually picked it up. But if you're gonna ship it, it'll probably cost you like a grand. You know, um, not bad. But today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making it look street legal. Look street legal. Maybe I'll probably end up registering it or something. But we got this headlight, so check it out. So this headlight right here, we're gonna it's gonna be put on just like that, and we have some holes right here. We're gonna go to the hardware store in a little bit. Let's check it out. We're gonna put some bolts right in there, thread them in. So we gotta go to the hardware store for that. And then we got the brake light. The brake light's gonna sit right under here, just like that. And so we're gonna get some bolts. So one, two, three, just bolt it up just like that. Let's see, pull it down. Let me see where the bolt holes are on the, the brake light. Well, we're not, we're just gonna drill straight through them. Oh, uh, got it. You know? Yep. And then we got a horn. We got a little horn. And then we got the controls. So basically, oh yeah, and the most important, we got the brake light switch. So we're gonna have to put this in the master cylinder, take out this banjo bolt, and then that's gonna wire it for the brake light. Um, but other than that, yeah, so we're just gonna go to the hardware store right now and get some parts, and then we'll be back to work on these and get some more footage. We need a bolt. M10. The two that we're gonna use. See That M10-1.5 metric. All right, we got these carriage bolts. We only need three, but we're gonna get four. And I don't know what's up with Lowe's, but they don't got no pens, so <laughs> we should take a picture. You know? And then we need. The nuts as well. A quarter inch. You get four. I'm gonna take a picture. Look at that. I'm in no rush. Only a Prius driver would have that. Let's see, if we get a close up. <laughs> I'm in no rush. You have to see glasses. That's funny. Alright, we're back. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the plastics so we can get to the wires and we're gonna find out uh, which of the wires we have constant power and that's how we're gonna wire up all the lights and all that. So we're gonna take it off and we'll show you how to find it. Alright, so we're gonna use this little tester light. So he's gonna rub it and we're gonna put him into each one of these wires and see which one lights up, and that's gonna be our constant power. Ready? Okay, so as you can see, this yellow wire right here is our power. So we're gonna have this as a power, and then we can hook up each of the lights at a ground anywhere on the frame. 
But so what we'll do is we're just gonna splice into this and we'll start, we'll mount the headlight first and then wire that up and then we'll do the tail light and the brake light switch. That's all our power for everything pretty much. So we're just gonna get power and ground, right? That's all yeah. we really need once we make a harness for everything else. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. All right, so the two uh, bolts that we bought fit in here nicely. So that's how we're gonna mount the bottom right here. We're gonna have to drill these holes out a little bit, so just grab a drill bit. Just ream it out. Like a charm. Yeah, just like that. So, with the light that we buy, it came with these straps. So that's how we're gonna strap it to the front right here. Where do those straps go? We're just gonna wrap the straps around here. So I'll show you. So check this out. We'll do it on this side first. It's pretty easy, and I'm gonna have a link in the description for all these parts that I bought. So in case. These just go like this, right? And these are just gonna pull on these like that. You put this rubber in. Probably need like a flathead. Shove it in there. All right. Pretty sturdy. That's all, and because the nuts and the bolts on the bottom is what keeps it. So check this out. This is what we came to. Is since the yellow is gonna be our constant power, we were thinking of cutting it and splicing one black power wire and running all that. But we actually, let me see this clip. Well, we noticed on this plug, there's nothing where the yellow wire goes. The wire, so the yellow wire's not even hooked up. This back, this bottom left, that would be where the yellow wire would come out to another mm -hmm. harness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that plug right there. We're gonna take these pins out right here, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, go ahead and tell them. We're gonna solder a wire right here. Plug it in this connector. Mm -hmm. with no cutting or, or soldering of the stock harness, and we just added a wire. That's it. Yeah, so it'll look really clean. So it's just gonna look like a wire coming out of here. Exactly. We're gonna take we're gonna take this pin out with a pig. So this actually came off of the headlamp, but I cut everything. Um, the headlamp or the tail light? I forget. I think it was the tail light. But so yeah, we'll show you how to take these pins out with a little pick, and then we're gonna solder that up. Hey, all right. So. All right. So. There it is. You can see that? Soldered on there. That's our power wire, so go ahead and get your plug it in. So we're yellow wire, right? Bottom wire. Yeah. Let's see how these other pins are facing. Let's see real quick. They're facing like this. And we have an issue. I gotta trim that a little bit. Alright, guys, so I just. Barely trim it down. Let's see if it'll fit. Right. She's tight. Get it in. Does it pull out? Yep. Huh? Nope. Don't pull out too hard. No, it's good. Look. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. So there it is. The brass one, right? Yep. The brass one. So we plug this in here. Yeah. Now we have constant 12 volts. So we hook up our light to this and the ground to the frame and we run it, it should have power. Yep. All right guys, so we kind of messed up. Uh, we, we had it wired up and we were testing it to make sure it was gonna work before you know put the camera on and I guess we just blew this light because it's just a regular halogen light and uh, I don't know, maybe it gave it too much power or something. But yeah, it turned super blue and then that was it. Yeah, so we're gonna go right now to Pet Boys or AutoZone or something and we're gonna find uh, like a at least one. Yeah, we're gonna find this light again. And then this little one is like a daytime running light that went down there. So we're gonna get try to find some LED lights or something. So and then we'll be back. All right, so we're back. We had to pick up some LED light bulbs because we blew the halogen. But these are pretty sick. If you check these out, LED, got three on each side, and it's got a cool little fan. Uh, you can pick this up on Amazon for twenty dollars, but I know I overpaid for this, but it's okay because I wanted to get this done right now. So, plugs right here. Yeah, so plug it in. First, inside. 
Yeah, so we're gonna mount it up, plug it in, and then There's a little spring. It's right here. And then we're going to wire it up, and then we'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna show you what wires to put on this light. Okay, so we had a little issue. Um, we hooked up a regular, well, we hooked up the LED light, and we just hooked it up from this power wire that we said, and actually it burned it out because the stator, when it revs up, it spins too fast and it creates way more voltage, and that's why these blow up. So I just blew out one of these lights that I just bought. So we found out by doing a little research. Luckily, we have one of these from an old wiring harness. But go ahead and get real telling them what's going down. So this is just a regulator. So pretty much what happens is exactly what Louis said: is when you rev it up, uh, voltage keeps coming and it keeps coming, and it has no limit. So what this box does is it takes alternating current from the stator, from the engine spinning, puts it in here, um, and then it regulates the voltage to only 12 volts out, which is this red wire. So this is going to be our main power wire for everything now. Red. Yes, red. These two are alternating currents. These, These two yeah. get hooked up from this power wire. From the yellow yep. wire that was in this harness yeah. right here, which is coming straight from the stator, yep. which is creating a lot of voltage. Green is just ground, alternating currents, these two, these two can tie together, mm -hmm. and then we got constant power to everything. Yeah. So Which we're going to go ahead and wire it up right now, so we'll yeah. show you how it goes down. Yeah. So, so we got yellow from the stator, can tie into both of these right here. Yeah. So we're just going to twist these together real quick. Um, green is ground, so we have our ground on the light. For the headlight which is right here so when you buy this headlight this black one is the ground so this is going to get connected with this ground and these will get grounded to the frame right there exactly so that's going to go like this and now we have our power wire which is going to go to our headlight switch on this side so now the other two these right here these are for the high and low beam so when you open this up and you look well if you didn't have these controls then you, you would basically just wire these yeah. two up together and you'd have 12 volts and the light would work perfectly. Yeah. But we want... Highs and lows, yeah. yeah. So basically, when you come down here, these two, blue and white, literally go to blue the blue and, and white. white. So go ahead and tie those up. So this is just gonna be for the high and low beams. And then blue to blue. Do it like that. All right, we got that, and then constant power on this headlight switch. Yeah. Which is this? See how it's in the middle, the blue and white. That's constant power, which, which goes to the red. But we will be tying in brake lights and everything else. Yeah, to brake this, lights, this blinkers, red wire, and horn. Yeah. So that is our main power wire source. Last now. but not least, we have ground. So ground is gonna get grounded out here. Like that. Now all Louis has to do is hold the ground. Yeah. So. So now I'm just gonna ground this out to right here. So you can see the light down there. Right, ready? Go ahead and kick it over. Yeah, rev it up a little bit. Okay. Alright, I don't know if you guys could see that um, in the video, but with the high beams, um, all these three turn on, but then kind of like on the bottom row when you turn the high beams on, they go on two, but it's only on two sides. So the light was facing like that, so you couldn't see the two sides. But so that's up. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out how to mount this because this is a little awkward. The regular halogen light bulb was a little bit slimmer in the behind, so we're going to try to fix that up. And then we'll let you know how we're going to run the tail light. Once we have the tail light ran with the brake light switch, then we're going to solder everything. But So for right now, you're going to need this. And I'll put the link in the description to where to get that and all the other parts as well. Okay, so right now, Gabriel is wiring together everything. So for the headlight, um, we already showed you this prior, so... We're getting that set up, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the tail light right here, and which each and every one of these wires is. So basically, the black. All these are just extensions because don't mind the color wires because I only had black and red. But so all you have to know is the black 
is your ground and then your green is going to be your power for your the running light and the license plate light so that's going to be ran all the time so I guess this would be your power as well and then the red is going to be your brake light so the red is your brake light and this we're going to wire up to the brake light switch the banjo bolt switch and then the other wire to the banjo bolt switch will be to power we'll show you that in a little bit and all that's left is the yellow and the brown and the yellow is going to be your right blinker and the brown is going to be your left so once again yellow is right brown is left red is brake black is ground and then your green is your daytime power or running always always to power so that's how you wire that right now I just have this clamped on there because we're actually going to mount the tail light um, to the actual plastics but for right now just to get the length of wires that we need I just have it set right there and so basically we're going to have so this brake light switch how this works is when you press the brake it basically connects the two wires it um, completes the circuit with pressure. yeah with pressure from the fluid so like I said since your red is your brake light so basically this one of them goes to uh, one end of the wire and the other wire is going to get ran up to power and remember our power is the red one on this all our power is going to this and then for our ground for our black I'm just going to ground it um, to this bolt right here I'm going to take this nut off and then shave that down to bare metal and we'll ground it there and then what I want to show you is for the blinkers, you're going to need uh, a relay, and so how it works is, see the middle, the middle wire, the, the gray, that <clears throat> is going to get connected to the L, so the B and L, I think that's battery and lights, so basically this, the red wire, which is the battery, that's going to come from your power wire, which is, again, that red wire up there that I just showed you. And the other side of this is going to go up all the way. See that? That's the gray, which is the gray wire in here. So that's going to be power all the time. So when you hit the switch to the left or to the right, it's already going to be giving the power from the relay and which will pulse it. So basically... Um, the left would be brown, so then, like I said, the left is brown. Right here. So it, it's, in essence, it's this red. Or the left is blue, I'm sorry, so it's the light blue. And so this would be connected to the light blue. And the light blue I have on an extension. So see, it goes down to the blue. But... So I just wanted to give you the main points of what these are um, because then you could pretty much wire yourself once you know what these are. But after Gabriel's done finishing that up, we're going to actually bolt the controls up and then wire everything and we're going to run. We're going to show you how we ran each and every wire and then we're going to solder everything up. Okay, so we are basically done. We're almost done with the wiring. So... Like I said, I have all these, so the black, we're gonna run, we're gonna run it, boom. The black is to the ground, and make sure when you put it ground, you wanna scrape off the paint just to be safe. And then green, the green we have tracing all the way to our red wire, remember, coming out of here. And then, so that's our daytime running lights. And the red is right here. We haven't hooked the safety, we're gonna show you how to do that next, but this, um, I already mentioned this, hook that up to there to one wire and the other wire you're going to put an extension wire and that's going to go again to the power and we'll hook that up right now but these two yellow and brown I get run up to here blinkers. and these are the blinkers which are the teal the teal and the orange and then the gray for the relay, one of the relay gets from the battery or from the power, and then the other part of the of the relay goes all the way up to the gray wire, the gray wire from the controls. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, and we'll show you everything working. So go ahead, give me kick it on. So 
we got the headlight, we got the daytime running light, we got the left blinker, we got the right blinker. And then, hold on, this wire right here would be the brake light. When we touch this, So yeah, that's basically everything. Um, what we're gonna do next is we're going to wire up the banjo bolts, and then once we have it wired up, we'll show you how to put it in, and then we'll also show you how to bleed it, because you're gonna have to bleed the bike, the rear brake. But other than that, it's basically done. Oh, and then we're gonna show you how to mount this. I just clamped this on just to get the length of wires, but we're gonna show you how we're gonna bolt that to the plastics. But yeah, so. It's looking good so far. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, it looks sick. Dang, that looks really sick like it was meant to be. Sweet. Okay, so it's pretty simple how to take out this banjo bolt. Um, it's going to be a 12 millimeter. Um, just want to take it out. Make sure you don't press the brake or anything because you you don't want shit to screw out. Is in there? So, I'm going to take it out like that. Um, I'm not going to reuse these little washers because the uh, our banjo bolt switch came with some. So it came with some new ones right there. So it's pretty simple how it goes. You saw how it came off. One goes on. They come with copper washers or are you just going to reuse them? Yeah. No, they come with them. And the other one goes on. Just like that. And then you just go ahead and thread it on. It might be a little tricky because you have the wires hanging. There it goes. And that's gonna be a 14 millimeter. If we could take these wires off. Which wires? You know what, guys? It looks like I ordered the wrong size thread. So this thread is a little more coarse than this one. So I'm just going to run uh, just the regular banjo bolt. And I'm going to tuck this wire in until I can order this one online. But So for right now, it's not going to have the brake light. But, so, other than that, Gabriel just wired up the horn. So oh. we're... Where's the horn at? Oh no. So he's wiring up the horn right now. We're sticking it under there. Um kinda bummed out about this bolt, this banjo bolt. Have to return it. So we're not gonna have brake lights for now. But yeah, we're just gonna I mean, red. All the, we're just gonna solder the connections and then we'll install the tail light. I mean, that. Okay, so we are finished. Um, I just ended up putting one, one of these carriage bolts in, and it was fine. There you have the, uh, the nut right there. That's how it sits. Bring it out here for you? Yeah. So this is it right here. It's pretty sick. I like the white on it. Looks pretty hard. Dang, it looks, and then I'm gonna get street tires soon, so it's gonna look like a little supermoto. Let's go and turn it on. Well, we gotta raise the idle, cause it's... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Sick. Sweet. Alright guys, 
thanks for watching. That concludes this video and hopefully you guys like it. And we are going to be doing some adventures on this and on that very soon. We'll be riding uh, on the riverbed and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. So hope you like it. So don't forget to like this video and always subscribe. Mm -hmm.